that. That is a big damn giant rock. Dang. Massive. Today we're gonna to be crabbing and fishing for rockfish, link cod, cabazon are open, so it's gonna be an awesome day. Let's get out there and have some fun. But we're gonna go out there and get in there, drop some crab pots, and then start fishing. So let's get to it. So we're out on the water. We finally made it through the surf. It was a little squirrely. We just had to time the waves just right in order to get out. But this is definitely more of a surfing day. From a condition standpoint, you can see the swells are pretty darn big. Pretty cool. The pelicans are flying around right now. There must be a lot of bait in the water. So maybe I should have brought my salmon gear, but oh well. We're gonna get some big rockfish and link cod and cabazon today and we'll get out of here before the surf gets too crazy. So I'll catch up with you in a minute. Let's go. Okay, so we reached our first fishing spot. I got fish on the fish finder. Now we're gonna get ready to go. So I got this dry bag that I keep all my tackle in along with another tackle box that's under the hatch, but keep everything safe. But today we're gonna to predominantly fishing with these Berkeley gulp minnows and Berkeley pogies on small jig heads. And they're just dead for these rockfish. You don't need big swim baits. I've got four inch, these are the four inch Berkeley gulps and these are the three inch pogies. These are deadly too. Got my sense too. Got my sense all ready to go. Sense are important. Let's get our jig heads. It's always a good idea if you can pre tie your jig heads on one of these leader boards. That way you don't have to mess with it out here. You just have to hook on and you're ready to roll. So, let's get this guy ready to go. Pull out our first jig head. Let's start with this guy here. All right, so I got my pre-tied leader on. Now we're gonna get out one of these birds with gulp. Minnows. Get him ready to go. You guys can see that but that's what it looks like just a pretty basic minnow but what you do want to do is make sure that when you put it on you thread it on so it's swimming right side up believe it or not it makes a difference to the fish in your presentation if the fish looks like it's swimming the right way they're gonna bite it so that's what it looks like this is our bait for rockfish guys Okay, now let's throw a little scent on here. Let's start with some sand shrimp, super gel, one of my favorites. Just throw a little around the jig head. And we're ready to fish. First drop, guys, fish on. Barely hit the bottom, we got a fish on. Oh yeah, oh. What do we got? Oh, Lincoln. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. Ah, come on. Okay guys, first cast, Lane Cod. Got another fish on. Hopefully this will be something we can keep. Nice greenling. That's 
a nice fish right there. But, he's gonna let him go back. Okay. And he tore up my bait. Dang it. Okay, so we're moving out to deeper water. Right now we're in 60 feet of water, 56 feet of water. We need a little heavier gear. So we're switching up to a multi-hook rig. I got these two pre-tied leaders here. Well, these are uh, these are P-line kicker minnows. Love these minnows. And on the bottom, all I've got is a three ounce little bowling ball shaped sinker. So we're basically gonna put that guy on here. Since this is all pre-tied, I'm ready to go. I just gotta clip it in. I switched over to my jig and rod with a line counter on it. So that way if I see suspended fish, I can drop down and know exactly what depth I'm at. I'm just putting a little bit of scent on these kicker minnows. And we should be ready to fish. Gotta check your drag. Make sure it's good and tight. So we just dropped into a nice school of rockfish sitting right on the bottom. So we got our jigging rod out here with three ounces of weight. All scented up. We should get into some fish here pretty quick. Got a fish on guys. Feels like it might be a nice, decent ling or a cabbie. He hit that puppy hard. Oh, it is a ling. Oh, oh, oh. hello. Oh, it's a blue ling. Look at that. He's a little short, but still counts. How about that, huh? Nice. See you later. Bite it. There we go. Fish on. That's a good one. Fish on. Yeah, baby. This is going to be a cabbie or a big ling. China rock. Holy crap. That is a huge China rock. I have never seen one that big. Oh, yes. Got another fish on. Oh, it's a nice black rock. Yeah. There we go. Oh. When in doubt, hide it. Hey, hello. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Come on, be something good here. Oh my, a linky. Not a linka. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, 
Oh, nice black. That's a fat one. Oh, yeah. Nice. Look at that. a link. Yeah, he's going to be a shorty. Uh, yeah, he's short. He's short. If he's 22, he, man, I'd be surprised. Yeah. Let me get a hold of him. Well done. Okay, so we got four keepers right now. We got room for one more. Back to our light tackle, Berkeley Gulp Minnows. We're in kind of a kelp bed. We're only in 24 feet of water, but I think I finally found the black rocks. I got some really good luck here the last couple of casts. Picked up a lot of fish. Just want one more big one, and then we'll go pick up the pots, and we'll be out of here. Got my last one, Jeff. Check it out. Limits. So we got our limits of rockfish. We got a huge vermilion rockfish and a huge China rockfish. I think those are probably my personal best, biggest fish ever for those two species of rockfish. We also just pulled the crab pots. We had six gigantic keeper, keeper, keeper. We had six gigantic keeper Dungeness crabs. They're just massive. So we're all packed up. We're buttoned down. I got all the rods reclined in my rod holder. So they're perpendicular mostly with the boat. Parallel with the boat, not perpendicular. Now we're paddling in. It looks pretty calm, but we're gonna take our time going back in. We're gonna check out the waves. We're gonna go into a little corner over here at Pacific City and the point and try to go around the rocks and avoid the waves. But uh, we should be good to go. So this was an awesome, awesome trip. I'm glad you guys joined me. I hope you learned something. Get out here yourself and enjoy this wonderful fishery here in Oregon. I can't say enough about how much I love it out here. This is my absolute most favorite place to fish. So I look forward to being out here again and you guys joining me in the next one. If you like the video, you know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know. If you have questions about what I use and where I go and what I do, I'm happy to help. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining me.